I think it was one of those games where it could have gone either way. Um, probably a little bit of ball movement today, to be honest. We fumbled a little bit, um, mainly due to Melbourne's pressure. I thought they, they pressured really well. I mean, credit to them, they are you know, undermanned. And um, it's funny in footy, sometimes uh, when you're undermanned, you, 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 know, you really stand up. And I thought Melbourne stood, stood up really well today. And Mick would be incredibly proud of that. Yeah, it was. It was unbelievably bluster. I reckon they should put uh, those windmill things out here and make power. It's unbelievable when you come out here. But yeah, not not to, the same for them as well. But it's tough to play footy in those conditions. And I think both sides. If you look at the possession count, it was way down. Um, most stats were down. There was a lot of ground balls. So that that sort of was the, the way the game was played and um, probably doesn't suit us as much as well. We're, we're pretty much a, predominantly a ball movement side and uh, pretty similar to last year with GWS, that wet game up there. We we won, but again, it could have gone either way um, and it, it really hurt our ball movement. Um, so, yeah, we'll reflect on that and see if we can get a little bit better maybe around the contest as well. Talking about that ball movement, you actually looked really sharp in that area. Yeah. What changed from that point? Because you were Yeah, well, I think the Melbourne's pressure, they, they really applied pressure to the ball carrier. It was it was actually quite noticeable uh, from quarter time on. And um, I need to what, probably watch the vision to see exactly what they did. But um, credit to them, they, they were really good. And uh, I think we ended up winning the pressure acts overall. But I'd, I'd guarantee when you look back at the vision, it'll be chasing pressure rather than um, the pressure that you need to, to make them go handball sideways. So... I felt they probably got us in that area. Emma King looked like she pulled up pretty slow just before half-time with her knee um, play out of the game. Was she incapacitated in any way? No, not really. She, I, I thought it was worse. Um, she came in at half-time and they just said that they just needed to strap it and put her back out. We'll, we'll do a scan, obviously, and see how she goes. But, um, no, she was quite comfortable. Played her back in the ruck as well. So um, she wasn't inhibited at all um, and pulled up after the game and she was fine. So other than really missing that first five or six minutes of this third quarter to strap it, um, it was fine. Dario Bannister um, came off. Uh, yep. What's the yeah, she'll have a scan as well. We think AC joint. Um, so, yeah, it could be, could be grim news for her, but, um, you know, it might come back and she's OK. It's, it's, um, she's pretty sore, but AC joints can be really sore and hard to judge on the day. So, we'll, we'll, again, we'll scan her and see. Any other concerns? Uh, not really. We um, no, I can't think of any main. A bit sore, but probably just that first game. It's incredible how the intensity changes from playing a practice match, match sim, and then into that. Um, yeah, Melbourne are a big-bodied side. There, they'll they'll do well this year. Obviously, a short season. How big a setback is it in round one? Yeah, just a setback. It's uh, you know, I've quite publicly said it. What our, our goals are this season and. I think we're still good enough. Um, Adelaide lost the first game and went on to win the Premiership last year. So, But, uh, yeah, it's it's still you want to win every game you can. And these are the ones that define your season too because if you, you, know, you lose two or three by two, three, four points, um, you know, it really mucks you up. So it's it's just one of those things. We go down to Launceston next week against GWS and, um, yeah, it's a must win. We just have to perform. Always tough to find. But uh, Asher Adele back in the side yeah. in the second half particularly was Yeah, she's a superstar. Um, yeah, she was a highlight today. I thought she um, she was so determined just to not get beaten on her opponent and Melbourne's midfield was good and uh, said to Ash, it's, it's not getting 20 possessions and it's all about you know beating your, your direct opponent. And I thought she did the job really well. And then she was able to get free in the third quarter and the start of the uh, last quarter. And yeah, and gets a few possession. I don't know what she ended up on, but she'd be up around that 20 mark, I, I think. Um, yeah, she's going to be a really good player for a long time. You forget that she's only so young, and she was a big loss last year. So hopefully, we can just get the uh, the other players up and, and supporting her. Did she mean that third quarter goal? Sorry. Did she mean that third quarter goal? Was she? Well, I don't know. It was pretty fluky, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> She'll tell me she did. Swung pretty viciously. Yeah, it did, and she um, she loves her left foot. Like even at training, she 
she'll do skill craft and do it on her left and she's quite good on her left but today I noticed maybe three or four times she kicked left foot kicks I think they all hit targets or in the goal so amazing incredible having, Ash, Matt, it's like having a new recruit but you had a bit of a new position for one of your better players as well like Jackie Garner had a really good game in the cup. She did. Um, what do you think of her performance? There? Yeah, really good. I think Jazzy is the type of player you could play her centre half back and she'd do well. Um, just a competitor. And again, she's only young and got a long time to go in this in this game. Um, I think Jazzy's best position is unknown still. I still like her as a forward. Um, but I think as a mid, she can impact just through pure talent. And it will remain to be said. I think it'll be a, probably a week to week thing too, depending on who we play. If we play a side that's got a, um, a very experienced back line, for instance, then she's probably going to play forward more so than mid. So it's, a, it's just a matter of you know, match-ups there and what we do there. And I'm really keen to see uh, Mia King over the, you know, the coming weeks as well and put her in there, and that maybe that gives us Jazz Garner a little bit more time forward. So it'll, it'll just depend on who we're playing. No, she was fine to go. She was up for selection. It, was, it really came down to her or um, Ellie Gavalis at match committee. Um, and, um, yeah, we went with Ellie this week and I uh, thought Ellie was good today as well. She, good start to her career. And, um, yeah, Mia, Mia will play a lot of footy for this club, so she's just got to bide her time.